At this point, it's impossible for you not to have heard of or already played Minecraft. Your mother, your uncle, and even your Uber driver have heard of Minecraft. Released in 2011 by Mojang, it's currently one of the most played games in the world. Gathering amazing communities around the game quickly transformed Minecraft into a world phenomenon. In some parts of the world, it is even used as an educational environment for the younglings. But more on that later. Welcome to Zero Deaths. Today we are taking a look at 15 things you didn't know about Minecraft. Make sure to stay subscribed so you don't miss out on our next video. Let's dive into it. Number 1. Developed in just 6 days. The classic version of the game started as a really small project. Not released this version on the forums of a small indie game developers community. This first version of the game only took them 6 days to build. Minecraft was originally inspired by games like Dwarf Fortress or Dungeon Keeper. Mojang was quickly formed and has managed to gather a really massive crowd of gamers around it. Building a game in only 6 days is a feat of strength, even by today's standards. After this first release, it took them around two years of tweaking to put out an open beta. Number two, Minecraft's original name. Despite how obvious the name Minecraft sounds now, this was not the first name for what would later become a phenomenon. Notch originally called this project Cave Game. He later decided to change the name to Minecraft, the Order of the Stone, but he quickly dropped it. The Order of the Stone later became the title of the first episode in Telltale's story mode. People are debating to this day whether or not the game would have been just as successful with the longer, original title. But we can say for sure that the shorter name definitely embraces the simplistic gameplay of Minecraft. Number 3. The Biggest Community in Gaming If you go down the rabbit hole of Minecraft videos on YouTube, you might never escape it. It's simply amazing how much content can be generated if you give creative people the tools and freedom to create. With a player base of over 100 million players, is at the top of the gaming culture. Whether you are 12 or 29, you will most definitely find a YouTuber that's doing amazing stuff in Minecraft for you. Internet personalities quickly grew while focusing on creating content for Minecraft enthusiasts. And if you're that type of weird gamer that likes to go outside, Minecon is the annual gathering for Minecraft players around the world. In previous years, Minecon managed to gather more than 12,000 people. In 2019, Minecon was transformed into an interactive live stream, with Minecraft Festival taking its place. Number 4. The Best Selling Game of All Time After entering its beta phase in 2011, Minecraft managed to sell over a million copies in one month. At that point, the game had no publishers and has never been commercially advertised. The community and word of mouth did it all. By that time, Notch estimated that Minecraft had made over $35 million in revenue. After the Microsoft deal, game sales have only gone up. With the release on all gaming platforms, Minecraft managed to get a lot of awards for its amazingly large sales numbers and player base. As of 2020, Minecraft sits at the top of the best-selling video games of all time. With 180 million sold copies, it occupies second place on this list. The only competitor Minecraft has for that first place seat is Tetris, a game released in 1988. The acquisition of what seems to be this gold mine, pun intended, by Microsoft came rather unusual, but more on that later. Number 5. The splash messages are not useless. We all got used to the yellow lines of text on the title screen. We tend to ignore them most of the time also. But there are a lot of hidden gems inside. Most of these lines are referring to Minecraft's achievements or referencing pop culture. After some internet controversy, in 2019 all splash texts referencing Notch have been removed from the game. There are currently around 400 randomized messages. In March 2020, all the messages were removed and replaced with a list of splashes that gave advice relating to the coronavirus pandemic. Number 6. The End Game One of Minecraft's biggest preconceptions is that it has no direction and doesn't even have an ending. But that's completely false. The game does have ending goals, and even credits. Far beneath the overworld lies the Elder Dragon. If you manage to get to The End, a desolated biome, you can't go back to the overworld until you kill the dragon. The End Zone has no vegetation and is filled with Endermans, Endermites, and Shulkers. Make sure to bring your trusty bow and a lot of arrows. You will definitely need them. After the end game credits, you can still return to your spawn point and continue the game indefinitely. Number 7. 
Endermen speak in tongues. The dark, alien-looking creature can strike fear in the hearts of the most adventurous heroes. While this creature's speech is nearly incomprehensible, most of its exclamations are in fact English words and phrases played backwards. By lowering the pitch of its voice, the Enderman's language might seem really dark and spooky. But the next time you encounter one of his kind, just remember he just wants to say, what's up? Other phrases that players manage to decipher are here, this way, and forever. Maybe he is actually trying to help us, and we got it all wrong. Number 8. Ghasts are recorded from real-life cats. Another scary monster that you might encounter in Minecraft is the ghast. The voice of this block-shaped fire breather is actually the result of an accidental audio recording. Minecraft's music producer, Daniel Rosenfield, recorded his cat by accident while it was suddenly awakened from a nap. He originally planned to have his cat voice the game's ocelots, but his cat's meows were way too creepy, so it became a ghast instead. Number 9. The Creeper Accident Sometimes, the most interesting and beloved parts of video games come as complete accidents. This funny-looking creature became one of the most iconic things in Minecraft. But as Notch confirmed, the creepers were actually a mistake. As he was trying to model a pig, he accidentally mixed things up and created the creeper. They were originally intended to be long, but this tall thing with its four little feet was perfect. The electrically charged predator that is haunting us quickly became adored by the entire community. So next time you encounter it, think of him as more of a tall pig and he might not explode. Number 10. The world is finite. When Minecraft started hitting its peak popularity, there was a common myth that the world had no limits. But some people actually tried to get to the edge of the world. When you reach the marks for around 30 million chunks, you will see the world border. There are several methods of bypassing this border, but after this, vegetation starts to disappear and the light starts to act funny. If you were to travel to this point on foot, it will take you around 140 days. So if you are really, really bored, this might be a fun thing to do? No? Okay. Number 11. Notch's For Sale Tweet as Minecraft grew in popularity, it seemed that Notch's attachment to his game slowly drifted. He never imagined that running a game company this big could be this hard. So after being fed up with the internet's toxic behavior toward him, he finally decided to sell his creation to the highest bidder. Not a lot of people know that the sell to Microsoft came after a simple tweet. He openly stated that he wanted $2 billion and that anyone with the interest of taking the game forward was allowed to bid on it. In late 2014, the deal was set and Microsoft acquired Minecraft for $2.5 billion. Number 12. Mine what? You might never notice this small detail, but every now and then, Minecraft might be misspelled on the title screen. As an old running gag, people used to misspell the game's name to Minceraft. So in the Java Edition version 1, Notch added a 0.01% chance that the name on the title screen will be misspelled. Notch stated that he was relieved when someone found this Easter egg. They had planned out a whole marketing campaign surrounding this Easter egg, with t-shirts and everything. Number 13. The Most Amazing Creations Taking a look at what people have created in Minecraft over the last 10 years can be mind-blowing. I think that we can say that Minecraft enthusiasts kind of did it all. If you never managed to see the Eiffel Tower, you can do it in Minecraft. You can go even further and visit old forgotten buildings, like the Tower of Babylon. Either way, the Minecraft community has your back. Using the power of redstone circuitry, one player has managed to build a fully-fledged computer. Seeing this kind of incredible creations will definitely spark your creativity. So next time you build your burrow, think of what other people have achieved. Number 14. They teach Minecraft in school. In Sweden, they introduced Minecraft as a mandatory part of its curriculum for all its students. A teacher explained that students easily embraced this new and unconventional method of teaching. They learned a lot about city planning, environmental issues, and getting things done. Studying using Minecraft might be the next big thing when it comes to kids that are having trouble dealing with the classic ways of traditional schools. The social benefits of using an online game as a teaching tool might be great, but let's just hope they don't turn into griefing internet trolls. Number 15. Fighting for freedom of speech. In many countries, social media platforms and mostly all internet traffic is censored. Young people in particular are forced to grow up in systems where their opinions are highly manipulated. And with a highly censored media, it's almost impossible to access outside information. So the organization Reporters Without Borders created the Uncensored Library, a virtual library that hosts articles written by journalists that have been censored in many countries around the globe. Using this map, people can access these books 
books and articles with no hassle, and it offers journalists the freedom they need. Building this map took them three months and is made up of 12.5 million blocks. Question, we all love Minecraft, but what is one feature that you would love to see added to the game? Bonus fact, did you know that if a player's in-game name is Notch, it will drop an apple? This was found after people started digging around in the game files. So next time you feel hungry, go ahead and search for Notch.